So in our last few videos, we have seen how to write different triangular sequences using for loop. Now we will cover same example using while when loop. Uh, the syntax is very simple. Uh, so let us uh, have a look at this example. So uh, if we not, uh, if we need to plot this thing using while when loop, the syntax is very simple. You can see here we have five rows, five columns. In the first row we have one column. In the second we have two. So we'll be first um, uh, writing a loop for uh, rows. So I'm taking a row counter as zero, and then I'm iterating a loop uh, for row less than or equal to five. So the syntax goes like this. But you can see here when I'm on first row, we have one column. In the second row, we have two columns. So that means uh, for every row, the column count starts from one and it ends at the row number. You can see here. So we need another loop uh, which iterates inside the row loop. So I'm setting the counter of column as one. So C equals one initially. And for row also we need uh, the counter to be one. So while uh, column is less than and equal to. So when it is uh, when the row is one, column should be um, uh, end at one. And when the row is two, column should end at two. So C is less than equal to row number for that particular row. And the value of cell uh, r comma c is equal to, for instance, let's check as one. Now we'll find the relation. You can see here, in the first column, all the values are one. In the second column, all the values are two, and so on and so forth. So we know that the value of that particular cell is equal to column number c. So let us uh, delete everything and see what happens when we run this program. There is one thing which we missed uh, due to that this program got stuck in an infinite loop. Uh, you know that for loop is auto incremented when we write the next, but while and when loop does not auto increment itself. So you need to increment row as well as column at the end of the loop. So we have incremented column loop by c equals c plus one and for row also. Now when we run again, it prints the same sequence. So you, you have seen that we have replicated the same thing using while when and we can do the same thing using do while as well as do until. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.